Am I in here? Yeah, I'm alright, okay. Alright, um, Orlong Arc. First impressions or review or whatever you want to call it. Oda. Oda, 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 Oda. Wonderful, wonderful job. I am really enjoying it. I'm so happy that I got back into uh, One Piece after, you know, not reading it or watching it for a while. And, you know, I'm starting back over and everything. And, you know, I am really, really, really enjoying it. But let me take a second to turn down my phone. One second, guys. Okay, we're back. All right. So, the uh, Orlong arc. First impressions. Uh, very, very good. Oh, my God. This is, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Within this one arc, I learned of Luffy and Usopp's uh, bond. I also learned of San Sanji and Zoro's secret, uh, well not secret, but their relationship or their love interest towards Nami's sister and Nami. I learned of how much uh, dedication and uh, how much of a bond that uh, Zoro has for Luffy and his fellow comrades. So they're really becoming a team in this arc, and I really like this. I'm also learning that Orlong is beast. He's really beast. Um, when he ordered one of his henchmen, or when he killed uh, Nami's uh, mother, oh my, oh my gosh. Like When, when, when I saw that, I, I, I was getting kind of sad, emotional. And like the art style that he used to il illustrate this, which is simply amazing, nonetheless. Um, you know, just learning about, uh, you know, Nami's past of how, you know, Nami and her sister, uh, she she knew of, you know, Nami saving up the money to help, uh, you know, kind of save the village and everything. You know, th that was very, very touching. Uh, learning the simple ins and outs of, uh, you know, Nami's mother or foster mother telling them that don't give up. Don't let anyone take anything away from you. Don't let anyone take away your freedom. Fight for success. Don't give up. Strive for the best. Uh, don't let anyone tell you what, what to do unless it's your own mother. You know, these are qualities that, you know, are not only cool in manga, but we need to see more of this today. And this is what I preach so much when I talk about, you know, my videos of, you know, uh, concerns for my generations and how does society view us. You know, this is stuff we need to talk about. And, you know, a lot of people think, and I'm getting off track here, but a lot of people think because, you know, we read manga, you know, we're childish. But actually, to tell you the truth, you know, manga and anime kind of can help us out, give us some answers that we're looking for. And this right here, you know, I think helps uh, a lot of people who go through stuff like that. You know, the questions, you know, you know, parenting and, you know, why should they discipline you and stuff like that. You know, this... Now, I'm, I'm really exaggerating it. I won't say the art goes as far as to do that, but, you know, it does give some answers into those those type of questions, and I think Oda does a very good job. So, uh, you know, I haven't finished the arc yet, but from where I am right now, I think it's pretty much ending, um, because, you know, I check on Wiki, and I also read it, so I'll be, you know, so I kind of know where I am as far as the chapters and the episodes and stuff. So... I think it, I think the arc ends on uh, chapter eighty five or eighty four, so um, I'm four chapters away from the whole arc being uh, done with. So, but so far, you know, I think it's really good. I don't know what's gonna happen as of yet. If you guys want to go ahead and spoil it for me down in the comment section below, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I don't mind at all. You know, uh, I'm just an anime fan. You know, trying to watch some new uh, anime and stuff like that and catch up on some old ones. So, um. My major concern is, because because right now where I currently am is uh, the the police guy, I think his name is Gonza or Gonzo, or, uh, he led the Marines to where Nami is. And they discovered, they said, well, we know that you're hiding treasure. And if you steal the treasure from them, you have to get the treasure back to us, the government. And she's like... No, 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 no. She actually, she's trying to deny it. Really, she's saying, you know, no, you don't have any evidence. And he said, well, how about we go check behind those trees? And I learned in the past arc, you know, when they were going to Nami's past, that she buried the money that she took from Orlong in the trees. 
So, you know, she they, they start to go over there, and she, you know, she, she's she's fighting. I was like, no, don't touch it. Don't touch it. That's my parents. And then the weird thing is that the guy that I was telling about Gonzo, the, or the, the police officer, he tries to stop the Marines. And I was kind of confused. I was like, you're trying to stop the Marines? You could have stopped them from going over there. But I think, you know, they have jurisdiction, obviously, over the place and the whole island or wherever they are. So he has to listen to the government, of course. But... You know, he had this weird look in his eyes, like, like this crazy, weird, demonic look in his eyes. I don't know what that was about, but it was really disturbing to me. And, uh, you know, I was surprised that, it would, you know, they were going to find her, find out about this this early. So, you know, I really want to see what happens, you know, between this whole, the government slash the civilians and stuff like that. Because, you know, really what Nami's trying to do is she's, she's kind of a Robin Hood, stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. In this case, she's stealing from the main villain and giving to the poor. So, um, and also, you also learn in the past about Nami's tattoo, and I think uh, her sister has one too, so, uh, but I think she got out of it a long time ago, but, um, and you learn that Nami joined it, joined the uh, Orlon crew to gain money to help her village out. That was the sole purpose. Like, a lot of people think that she's a traitor. Once again, or does a good job because he explains why she joined it, the reason behind it and what she's gonna get out of it, and you know, right before, oh my God, man, this was a sad part. Like right before, she only needed like seven, like um, billion more, or, or or seven something more. I don't know if it's billion or million more. So she was really, really close. And uh, like I said, man, those those Marines, they busted through there. You know, they knocked on her door. She came in. And um, it just took me to a flashback that I was reading uh, when Orlon came to uh, Nami's foster mother's house and her sister's house, and he opened the door. And what happened was she kicked the uh, the Orlon. Orlon fell down, and she said, "I'm an ex marine. You know, you can't touch me or whatever. I'm, I'm I'm the best." And he says, "You're a human. Do you think you can really beat me?" It's like, whoa, wow, talk about cockiness, this guy, but he's very strong, I already know. So, you know, this was kind of like, uh, kind of dramatic irony in a sense, because, you know, since I saw this, I was expecting the same thing as Nami. It wasn't kind of exactly how it was before, but, you know, Nami did use, use that little pole technique and hit one of those officers and they fell down. And I was just like, whoa, this is just getting so real, so fast. And, um... Man, like I said, you know, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think I'm going to definitely keep going and reading these arcs and stuff like that. After each arc, um, what I'll try my best to do, uh, even though I'm in college and stuff like that, I'll try my best to review each arc after I get done with it, um, or the most important arcs that I find that I want to review. But so far, the, Ar the Arlon arc uh, is very, very good. I'm enjoying it. It's wonderful, guys. Uh, please leave your comments, thoughts, and stuff like that down below on what you think about the Orlon arc, you know, did you like it, did you not like it, have you read it, have you not read it, um, you know, all on One Piece fans, you know, help me out of here, guys, you know, because this, and see, look, man, see, somebody, look, here's what I gotta say, somebody told me not to read the, the Orlon arc, I don't know who it was, but it was somebody in that comment section, I'm gonna post that as a video response to my own video, somebody said, hey, man, just keep up with the Orlon arc, are you serious, man, I learned so much from this arc, like, I'm so happy I didn't skip over it, because it was just too good. It's going to be true. But anyway, guys, uh, this video is getting kind of long here. I don't want to just draw it out any longer. So just leave your comments, thoughts, and suggestions on this arc. And I'll, I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace. Take care, guys.